If you're gonna be a hunter, um, I feel like you should not be allowed to shop at grocery stores. What's up everyone? Today we're gonna be taking a look at some anti-hunting, hunter harassment TikToks. And if you know anything about TikTok, then you know it's just pure degeneracy. And yeah, so these should be fun. My assistant put together a bunch of these, so let's just get right into number one. Here we go. Anti-hunting protesters push giant buck right to him. No way, dude. All right, up in Pennsylvania, people are chanting assalamu alaikum, blocking the highway. Cars beeping, fireworks everywhere. Okay, again, more protesters blocking the highway. It's, it's just not a good, it's not a good strat, all right? It's not going to work. It never has worked, and it never will. People are getting fed up with it. Someone's going to drive right through your protest. It's going to happen. I'm sorry, but here we go. Bunch of firecrackers or guns. They're right here in the trees. If they really push a buck right to him, oh my. Hopefully it's a nice one. This is insane. Maybe they could push some gear this way. Could they bring us dominoes and wings? This is insane, dude. All right, if you've never been in a tree stand before, you I get so gosh darn hungry. God damn, I get hungry up there. Whenever I'm in the tree stand, I gotta bring the Little Debbie. It's a standard snack, and honestly, it's just tradition at this point. I hope a big buck comes by, though, because it's getting blasted. You gotta be freaking kidding me. No way. Opening day, we pay for a license, and this bull happens. Oh, is he, here's the buck. Let's see, is it decent? Where is he, Pennsylvania? Oh, that's a decent buck for Pennsylvania, bud. Here we go. I know his heart is beating. Mine would be. I live in Iowa and my heart would be beating. And I just got a legal oh buck. God. I hit him with both shots and he dropped. See, when you guys protest, or see, pro, like... Pr <sighs> It's just karma that it happened this way. You're going to block the road, then the exact opposite of what you want to happen is going to happen. The just stop oil people make me want to buy a car that leaks oil on purpose. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Animal loser. Boo, boo, boo. This guy reminds me of someone. It really seems like you care. Why did why does why is it that every single time there's a protest everyone looks the same? Just add this protest to the list of a million reasons on why I would never ever want to live in the UK. Okay, what are they even protesting exactly? Looks like they're protesting. Looks like they're protesting fox hunting. Honestly, some of the videos I've seen are kind of gruesome. Using your dogs to tear apart foxes and filming it. Um, I can see how people could get kind of riled up by that for sure. Although the way that you're there protesting this, I don't think anyone is gonna like turn to your side. It's like the people who sit in the middle of the road and like glue themselves to the road or the people who throw the paint on the paintings. Like no one's going to come to your side. Just Stop Oil. I don't think they've ever converted a single person. If you are converted to Just Stop Oil, please comment down below because I don't believe you're real. On to the next one. All right, this is editing Connor. And yeah, I got the nose strip on because it really does help, help me breathe pretty well. But I just saw this. I just noticed this while editing. Look at this lady screaming in the background. Do we owe your fucking hey! Now, I have felt this way about this topic that I'm about to talk about for a long time, but I but I just saw a picture on my Instagram of somebody that I went to college with, and it brought it back to my memory. I think it is the... All right, this dude's talking way too much and kind of sounds like Spongebob, but let's keep going. Sickest, weirdest, just craziest thing for people who go hunting, and then they take a picture with the animal's lifeless body, and they're cheesing. <laughs> All right, all right. I understand. I I kind of understand what he is saying here. Usually, hunters are just pretty proud of uh, getting an animal. It's pretty hard to do, especially if you're talking like a deer or something like that. It's not easy. So, obviously, people are gonna want to take a picture to remember that. Yeah, I could see how you could think that's a bit weird if you're not a hunter. Just cheesing while there's a dead carcass right there, lifeless. How weird is that? Am I the only one who thinks that's weird? I mean, you're already going to their home to hunt them and kill them. And now you're posing with their lifeless body. What if I went to your home 
and killed you and then posed with your life with body. <laughs> You want to have me committed. Okay. But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? The circle of life, it's going to happen. If you want to go deer hunting, you got to go into their home. So uh, let's go on to the next video. Autumn, are you in that group? Oh, nice. She named a deer. Come on, lovely. I hope you're on private land. I do love deer, guys. They're <laughs> one of the coolest animals oh goodness, around. Autumn. Oh, my goodness. Autumn, is that you? Oh, oh my gosh. Autumn. If you haven't seen my Instagram, then you won't know about the absolute giant neighborhood buck that is uh, in my neighborhood. It's got to be a 160 class deer, and it's got a little drop time even, so I'll put the video up of it right here. But it's a giant deer, and so I know exactly what this is like. I haven't named him though, because hopefully one day I'll shoot him, but we'll see. He hangs out down by the neighbors, down in the creek. So I'm going to see if I can get permission to run down there and check to see if his sheds are down there, because I would love, love to uh, get at least his sheds this year. It'd be awesome. Hi, honey. Here, baby. There Feeding you the wild deer. Come here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my girl. You scared the life out of me, okay? This has got to be in. You only have a couple more days left, oh, this. Just a couple, a couple of days left of what? I better. I hope it's not shotgun season. Good luck. It looks like she's pieballed a little, a little bit or something. She's got some white hair on the on the top of her head. I haven't seen that before. But yeah, I really hope it's not two days left to rifle season. Okay, honey. Oh my goodness. That's a cute video. Honestly, I hope she survives. And you'll be able to tell instantly because of that little mark on her head. On to the next one. An anti-hunter watching a hunting video. <laughs> it's rough. It's rough out here to actually see how your food is made, I know. You gotta find out sometime. Animals die for you to eat. It's it's what happens. You know, in your McDonald's cheeseburger, there's an animal in there. Same with your tenderloin. All right, this will be the last one for today, guys. I've been told by my assistant that this one is uh, kind of all over the place. So let's just see. Here we go. If you're gonna be a hunter. Um, I feel like you should not be allowed to shop at grocery stores. And yes, I have extreme empathy for Bambi. I do not understand the thrill of going out and. My berbering. The thrill of getting your own meat, I know. It's crazy to think about. Does she not know that grocery stores also have meat in it? Uh, the wild animals, like they're just living their life. And yeah, I eat meat, so I get it. I'm also eating animals that have been murdered, but I'm not like doing it for fun. I'm not getting up and going out and being like, yeah, let me just- Okay, Raina, Rena. If, if someone did not do that, you would not be here right now to on TikTok about it. I hope you know that. Just saying. Just go, like, track down a wild cow. <laughs> That's actually really retarded. I had no idea there are wild cows. So please, someone tell me where the wild cows are. Because if I can get a free-range, grass-fed wild cow that I can go out hunting for myself... Dude, I'm all in. Throw me the tags. Let me build up some preference points. I'm ready. And then when it's least expecting it, just, like, murk it. I'll murk it from 100 with a bow from 50 yards away and then i get to cut it like i i don't do that for funsies for fun. and i feel like if that's your version of fun, fun and if you're trying to do it because you're like well i'm eating it i'm feeding my family it was like the way the olden days the times how do you think people you know ate? all right this lady is just pure tiktok cringe how did they get food okay like valid but then don't buy groceries then that's how you need to sustain yourself like if you're going to go out it's and hunt I don't know then why. that's you're a hunter gatherer now enjoy your vegetables and hopefully you have a good hunting season honestly if there's a way that i don't ever have to go to the grocery store again that's the move uh, if i can just hunt and grow everything that i need in my garden then i'm gonna take your advice and i'll do that happily thank you very much you can keep eating grocery store grocery store tomatoes are disgusting so you can have all of those you want thanks Thank you everyone for joining me today for these amazing TikToks. I'm sure you learned a lot. Yeah! And if you see any wild cows, take a picture and tag me in it. I'll see you next time. Peace.